hi guys welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to develop another small program that is going to allow us to create to output or display a reverse right angle triangle like this one on the screen and as you can notice the triangle is also made up of star symbols so we are still going to be using for loops statements so let's jump right inside the code all right so i'm going to start by declaring the various variables that we'll be using in this uh, program so i'm going to say variable i j i will add variable x and then variable number underscore rows so these are the variables that we will be using in our program so the first output statement so I will simply say enter the number of rows like this. Then I need to write my input statement. So I'll say number underscore rows, my input object point the next int method. So that's it. Next, I am going to write the for loop statement and I will say i for i equal to the number of rows, okay, number underscore rows, then the condition must be i greater to zero. Then I'm going to decrement the value of my variable i. Sorry, I need to put the semicolon here. Then inside the curly braces, I'm going to add another for loop statement and this time around i'm going to use the variable x so i would say for x equal to the number of rows minus i and the condition will be x must be greater than zero and x must also be decremented then inside the curly braces i will say print and i will put the space in here so that's it and i'm going to add the second for loop statement and this time i'm going to say for j equal to zero as well uh, so the condition is going to be j must be less than strictly less than i and j must be incremented and the system that out that print here i'm going to output the star symbol so know that here we're putting the space and down here we are putting the star symbol and finally outside of that second for loop statement i will write another output statement and this time around we will use the method print line and uh, we will print an empty string and at this last print line is also going to make sure that we come to the next line all right so i think that's it uh concerning this program if you want to print out a reversed right angle triangle so let's run and i'm going to say uh, i want a triangle with six rows and then press press enter and then as you can see we have our triangle i can uh, say that i want a triangle with nine rows press enter there is our triangle with nine rows and made up of star symbols so guys that was it concerning how you could uh, develop a very simple program by using for loop statements and then be able to display a reverse right angle triangle as the one we could see on the screen right now so thanks for viewing and i hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one so let's meet in the next one